What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be going over a quick tip on how to make intros, bridges, and pre-choruses. What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going over a quick tip on how to create intros, bridges, and pre-choruses. First, I just want to mention to you guys, check out the link in the description and go to the SoundCloud, listen to the tracks that I went ahead and put in the new bag up package. It is um, five tracks that I made with the intention on placing and what I'm doing is I'm giving away the MIDI for the entire track, I'm giving away the stems for the entire track, I made a brand new drum kit I put in there, um, I'm giving away the project files so that you guys can see my process on how I approach arranging, mixing, um, organizing the sessions, um, my templates as far as you know when, when I'm making a track with the intention of getting it placed these are not throwaway beats I did not create these beats with the intention of making a product these were tracks that I went my hardest on and I just picked what I, you know some of my favorite beats over the past few months that I was like you know let me go ahead and share this with the community and just get you guys you know um, something that a lot of people have been asking for it's on studio1tutorials.com right now it also comes with actual file templates that you can load up into your template folder and what they do with they're very powerful is they show up on the arranger window and it breaks down the different sections that you have to make in order to get um, a, a certain arrangement and there's four different arrangements in there so it's it'll take you out of that space where sometimes you're creating a loop and you don't know where to go when you have that information laid out in front of you you're like okay I need to make the hook I need to make the verse one, I need to make the pre-chorus, I need to make the verse B, things of that nature. So you guys really want to check that out. What I have in store for you guys here is this was uh, this was a video I, I uploaded earlier. I was working on the track and my audio inf interface got a little weird and I um <clears throat> I made this loop right here. It was, it's pretty dope. So it's like, you know, it's like... Uh, some of that like 21 savage type of vibe where it's a track that it's it's a lot of drums the melody is is it's just it's it is what it is um but i'm you're not going to be adding a bunch of leads and uh and different other um counter melodies in order to uh create um interest and changes in the arrangement but you already know from watching my videos every four bars something has to change so in order to um in order to satisfy that requirement which i put upon my own tracks and you, you should put requirements on your tracks too it's only going to make you better um i needed a, another part for this and a quick way when you guys are um especially in trap this works so good in trap where if you guys need um a, a, a separate section and i this works really good for bridges intros and pre-courses is what you can do is you can take the um the midi of your melody so say this is our main melody right here this omnisphere patch so i take that and then i'm just going to copy it over here and if i hold down the alt key right if i hold down the alt key and get that little clock icon to show up on the screen and then I click and drag to the right that is going to time stretch the MIDI so you see how you see how all these notes are longer as opposed to this it's a, it's a MIDI time stretch so now when I play it it's gonna play slower it's gonna play in half time so then you just add I just added a bass line on top of it worked in a different set of drums and now you have a, a pre-chorus section is, is how I'm going to use it. Thank you. 
So real quick and real easy. And then I also use that section for the intro pieces of it. You know as a transition i'll probably put a tape stop at the end of it so it kind of goes from the different speeds a little smoother but that one technique right there um is is, is especially with your trap melodies that are moving a, a lot faster um remember just hold down alt click and drag to the right for um you know double the duration of what you already have your loop set at and that'll that'll half your speed and you're going to wind up with something that you can use for an intro, bridge, or pre-chorus. Just add a bass line, switch the drums a little bit, and you'll be set with a brand new pattern that you can integrate into your song flawlessly. So thanks for watching the video. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next one.